Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use sum if function in Microsoft Excel. As we know that sum function in Excel is used to add the items. However, sometimes we want to add all the numbers in a range that meet certain criteria. And that is where sum if function comes into the picture or in other words, sum if function extends the abilities of sum function and allows to sum only those items or values that meet the criteria you specify. Sum if is a worksheet function and is used to sum up all the numbers in a supplied range based on single criteria. But if there are multiple criteria, this function will not work. This function takes three arguments where the first two arguments are required for the function to work and the last argument is optional one. We will discuss about the arguments in detail later in this tutorial. Let's see how sum if function can be used in unlike situations with different kind of criteria with the help of examples. As you can see, we have taken sample database of sales from column A to column D and on the right side, we have different queries in column G and we will get the sum based on the criteria mentioned in queries in column H. So we move on to the first example where we need to take out the sum of the sales amounts for sales value over 30. So 30 is the condition here based on what we will look to get the sum. All right. Now we go to cell H9 and we enter sum if function and hit tab to complete. As we discussed in the beginning, sum if function takes three arguments. First is range. It is the range of the cells to be evaluated by the criteria. The range can either be a cell reference, ranges, named ranges, string or an app. The second argument is criteria that is used to determine which cells will be added. It can be supplied as a text, numbers, expressions or reference to the cell location. Any logical or mathematical operators should be enclosed in double quotes whereas numbers can be supplied without quotation marks to the criteria argument. The third and the last argument is sum range. It is a range of the cells that to be summed up together. It is an optional argument and in case if omitted, function uses the first criteria range as the sum range. All right. Since we have elaborated all three arguments in detail, now we first take the range in which we will check the criteria. So we select C9 to C21 and in the next argument, we have to enter the criteria and as mentioned in cell G9, we need to look for sales over 30 and then take the sum of the sales amount. So we enter greater than 30 in double quotes and then we select sales amount range from D9 to D21 and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function return $125,000 in cell H9 and if we manually sum up the sales amounts for those whose number of sales are above 30, the answers will be $125,000 only. All right. Now we move on to the next example where we need the sum of sales amounts only for team ranchos. So we enter sum if function here in cell H10 and this time we take A9 to A21 as range argument and in the second argument, either we can type manually team ranchos here in double quotes or can select A9 as the criteria. Then we select the sales amount range and hit enter. And here you go. Function returns $75,000 which is absolutely right. In the next example, we will see how to get the sum of sales amounts of all teams except team cars. We enter the function in cell H11 and once again, we select A9 to A21 as the range argument, then put a comma. Now, as we can see, there are three teams in the database, team ranchos, team cars and team Ferrari. And we need to exclude the data only for one team, which is team cars. To do that, we will use not equal to operator in the criteria argument and then we'll enter the team name that to be excluded. And in this case, it is team calls. So we type not equal to operator first, then team calls in double quotes. And then once again, 
we select D9 to D21 for the sum range argument and hit enter. And here you go. Function only excluded the sum of sales amounts for team cars and returned to $150,500 in cell H11. The comparison operators are the ones which are used quite often in Excel. And the not equal to operator is very tricky operator which is usually used for all kinds of complex queries. It uses greater than and less than signs together. And as it is called as not equal to operator, function excludes the criteria from the range wherever this operator is used. All right. The fourth example is bit tricky where we need to get the sum of sales amounts for those teams that are ending with letter E and S. To do the same, we will use wildcard character into the second argument. So we enter some function here and take A9 to A21, comma. As we have learned in basic formulas and function series that the question mark and asterisk are two wildcard characters which can be used as the criteria argument. Question mark matches any single character whereas an asterisk matches any sequence of character. And as we need to find out the teams that are ending with letters E and S, so we will use asterisk sign here before we type letter E and S in the criteria argument in double quotes and then we take the sum range which is D9 to D21 and hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, function gives us the sum of sales amounts for team which are ending with letter E and S. So similarly, you can look for any single character and then get the sum based on the criteria provided. In the fifth example, we will take the sum of the sales amount which are over $15,000 in H13. So we enter the sum if function in H13 and hit tab to auto complete. In the first argument, this time we select D9 to D21 and we enter greater than 15,000 value in second argument in double quotes. Once we supplied the criteria, we will skip the third argument and will close the parenthesis. That is because the third argument is an optional argument and as we discussed it in the beginning, in case if we skip the third argument, the range which is the first argument will be treated as sum range by sum if function and in this case as we want the sum of this range only, so that is why we have skipped the third argument. Anyway, now we hit enter and here you go. Function successfully returned the sum of the amount which are over $15,000 in cell H13. And in the next example, we will tell function to return the sum of sales amount which is equal to $15,000. So once again, we enter sum if function here in cell and take D9 to D21 as the range argument. And as we want function to take the sum of the amount which is equal to $15,000, so we enter 15,000 value in the second argument and close the parenthesis. Have you noticed one thing that we did not enter equal to sign before 15,000? It is because Excel by default assumes that any number without any comparison operator is treated as equal to that number in the criteria. And in this case, the function looked up for amount which is equivalent to 15,000 and then it summed up all of them and returned $45,000 as the answer in cell H14. So far, we have explored six ways of using sum if function with different requirements. However, in the next and the last example, we will explore the alternative of sum if function and will get the sum of the amount for team ranchos once again. To do the same, we enter sum function in H15 and then hit tab to auto complete. Inside sum function, we nest if function condition and once again we hit tab to auto complete. In the first argument, which is a logical test, we take A9 to A21 and then we enter equal to and we type team ranchos sorry, in double quotes and comma. Then we select D9 to D21, which is going to be used as a sum range in this case. And then we put comma and enter empty text. If the logical test gets filled, the empty text will be printed. 
and then we close the parenthesis twice to add both the conditions and hit control shift enter and here you go function successfully returned the sum based on the criteria provided in the logical argument but how you might have noticed the curly braces appeared automatically this time before and after the formula and when we go into the edit mode we can't see any such braces there that's because control plus shift plus enter converts the normal function into an array function. And if you evaluate this function, it first look out for the criteria team rank chose in column A. And once it finds the cells that contains team rank chose, it selects corresponding cells in column D, which are later summed up by some function. Hence, function returns $75,000 as result in cell H15. But note, cannot enter curly braces manually to use the function as an array. Well, this is how you can use sum if function in different ways as well as the alternative of the sum if function. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well. That's all for now. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.